So let's move on to uh, another very important aspect of photo management is moving and copying and saving photos. So let's go back to capture time and we're gonna sort by all of our ratings. And we're gonna take all of our five, all of our starred photos. Let's say, for example, we're gonna do, do a blog post or make a photo gallery. Uh, and uh, we won't wanna add just our best photos to the post. So maybe we've isolated that all of our starred photos are the best photos. So we can select all those and we can go up here to file and save photos as. And so this dialog box just allows you to, to save your photos, you know, size, uh, dimensions, apply any cropping that you might have done. Uh, this is important, watermark. This allows you to either create a text watermark on your images or draw a photo. So I've got this photo of my logo that will be applied to the lower left corner uh, with about 50% opacity. And so when I save these photos, I'm going to do a watermark. We're going to save them at, say, a thousand pixels. By a thousand pixels, we'll say quality 75%. And we're going to save those to, to our desktop. And new folder, we're going to call that folder uh, selects. And hit that and save. So now all of those photos are saved. And actually, let's save one more, like this one here. Um, let's save that one too. Command S. Uh, we're gonna check this open destination as contact sheet and save it again. So now I've got this contact sheet with all of my saved photos. And so these are all at 1000 pixels. Uh, they're full screen. I've got my, my watermark here. And so there you go. That's how to save images. Let's say we want to move photos. Let's say we, we've got a catalog and we want, let's say we've got everything captioned and keyworded the way we like it and starred and everything. And we want to move those to the folders where they're going to live permanently in the catalog. And so let's say that we have a folder here called, let's go here and we're going to, we're going to say copy move photos. Uh, we're going to move photos, delete originals, and we're going to move them to a photo, let's see, a photo, a file on our desktop. We're going to call this folder aviation. And this open contact sheet is checked. We're going to move photos, delete originals, and now we're moving those. So now these photos live in this aviation folder. And so we can look for those photos and we can go to users, dbailey, desktop, aviation. And there it is. And in fact, we could move this up here to our favorites. So now if we close that and we want to go back, we can just hit that. Uh, let's go back. Let's say we wanted to copy these photos to that same folder, but leave them in this folder as well for some reason. So we could do copy move, and instead of move, we just want to copy. So this is automatically unchecked by default, and we'll do the same thing. So now if we go back to this aviation folder, what if we decided that, that uh, this aviation photo was one of our selects, and we wanted to move it to our selects folder? We could just drag it and copy it to that folder. And you can do this on a global, on a global sense. Uh, for example, let's look at this folder here. I've got my lesson folder for no lesson number two, and uh, I like this image, so I'm gonna copy this to this folder. And so now I've been added to this folder. Uh, I could do the same thing with uh, these five folders, or these five images, or six, or how many that was. So it, as you can see, it's very easy to copy and move folders around. You can either do it using the command tools uh, in, the, you know, in the file menu, or you can uh, just do drag and drops between folders, or drag and drops to move, or drag and drops to copy, just like if you were using the Finder.
Another thing you can do with Photo Mechanic is upload straight to social media and any number of other folders and, and remote sites as well. So for example, we can click that photo and we can go to File Upload and you can see all of the possible locations. We've got Amazon S3, we've got, you can FTP, we can upload to Flickr, to Photo Shelter, uh, Smug Mug, Twitter. So I've got my Twitter already uh, connected here. And so we can say fall leaves, because uh, I can't text and I can't type and talk very well. So I'm gonna make that very simple. We'll add a hashtag autumn We'll just leave it at that. And so I've got my parameters all set. I upload uh, with a watermark with at 1400 pixels and I can hit send. And so there it's done, this little queue. So now if I go to my Twitter and bring my Twitter window over here uh, and go to my profile, there it is right there. There's my newest tweet. And you can see that has my watermark on it you can see it has my watermark down there, and there's my photo. And as I said, the only thing that Photo Mechanic doesn't do uh, is it's not a processing program. So it's so you need an external editing program uh, like Photoshop, Illuminar, or even Capture One uh, to to edit your photos. And it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, I've already set up Photo Mechanic so that Luminar is my e default editing program. So when I open a photo and I hit this little box with an arrow in it, that's edit photo. I can go command E on the Mac. When I hit that, uh, Luminar is gonna open right up and it's gonna send that image uh, straight to the editing pane of Luminar. And there we go. It took a little bit of time to get it up there. Uh, and you could also use a program like Capture One as your external editor. Even though Capture One already has a catalog, uh, here's a way that you could incorporate that uh, kind of seamlessly. So under Photo Mechanics Preferences, we're going to go to this Launching tab, and instead of Luminar as the default edit photo app, we're going to choose we're going to choose Capture One 12 because that's what I have on my computer. Okay, so now when I go to this photo and I hit Command Edit. Uh, it's just a trial here, so we're gonna, just going to try, uh, we're trying, we have 23 days left in our trial. So as you can see, it opens up Capture One's import dialog. So we could select this photo to import into Capture One so that we could then you make use of Capture One's extensive editing tools uh, to process the image. So we could leave the image in its current location uh, and then just import the photo as such. And so, yes, yes, blah, blah. Uh, we've got that image selected. And now we can make use of all of Capture One's processing tools, which I won't run through those right now because they're pretty complex. Um, but anyway, that gives, that brings the photo into Capture One. You could then save it from Capture One. You could save your edited copy back to your original folder. Uh, and, and you don't even have to do anything in Photo Mechanic. If the image is in that folder, Photo Mechanic will see it. So if I were to save this right back to my original folder, uh, and we could just open Photo Mechanic again, and our edited version would show up in here. So I hope this tutorial gives you a better idea of what Photo Mechanic is, how to use the program, and how to incorporate it into uh, your photography workflow. From import to browsing through photos, choosing selects, uh, adding keywords and captions, and then copying, moving, saving, uploading folders to whatever folders and destinations you want. Also, make sure you check out the complete wiki manual that Photo Mechanic has posted. Uh, there's a link to that in the description of this video, so you can check that out. Uh, so even if you're just curious about Photo Mechanic, that'll show you everything the program does. Uh, if you decide to use Photo Mechanic, you'll definitely want to keep that uh, as a reference. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please leave a comment or ask any questions you want below. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out some of my other tutorials. I've got a real wide variety of photography lessons on there. You can find me on social media and on Patreon at Dan Bailey Photo, and you can visit my website and blog as well. So thanks again for watching. Uh, have fun with your photography, and I'll see you next time.